An Earth-like planet hot enough to melt rocks located 50 light years away that possibly has oceans of lava with clouds that rain lava. That's among the many planets that NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is poised to study just a few weeks from now. With its mirror segments aligned and its scientific instruments undergoing calibration, the James Webb Space Telescope will reveal its first observations this year and then begin its in-depth science expeditions. Among the investigations planned for the first year are studies of two exoplanets classified as super-Earths for their size and rocky composition, the lava-covered 55 Cancri E and the LS LHS 3844b. In this video, I tell you about these two planets and why they are of special interest to NASA. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. 55 Cancri E orbits less than 1.5 million miles from its sun-like star. That's about 125th of the distance between Mercury and the Sun. The planet completes one circuit in less than 18 hours. With surface temperatures far above the melting point of typical rock-forming minerals, the day side of the planet, the one that faces the star, is thought to be covered in oceans of lava. Planets that orbit this close to their star are assumed to be tidally locked, which means that one side faces the star at all times. As a result, the hottest spot on the planet should be the one that faces the star most directly and the amount of heat coming from the day side should not change much over time. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope, an infrared space telescope that was launched in 2003, studied the planet in 2017. Its observations show that the hottest region is away from the part that faces the star most directly, while the total amount of heat detected from the day side varies. According to the scientists, it is possible that 55 Cancri E has thick atmosphere dominated by oxygen or nitrogen. If that is true, the James Webb Telescope has the sensitivity and the wavelength range to detect the gases and determine what the atmosphere is made of. Another possibility is that 55 Cancri E is not actually tidally locked. Instead, it may be like Mercury rotating three times for every two orbits. As a result, the planet would have a day-night cycle. That, according to the research team, could explain why the hottest part of the planet is shifted. Just like on Earth, it would take time for the surface to heat up. The hottest time of the day would be in the afternoon, not right at noon. Researchers now plan to use the cameras on board the James Webb Telescope to test this hypothesis. The telescope's near-infrared camera will measure the heat emitted from the lit side of 55 Cancri E during four different orbits. They will observe each hemisphere twice and should be able to detect any difference between the hemispheres. In this scenario, the surface would heat up, melt and even vaporize during the day, forming a very thin atmosphere that Webb could detect. In the evening, the vapor would cool and condense to form droplets of lava that would drain back to the surface, turning solid again as night falls. Now, while 55 Cancri E will provide insight into the exotic geology of a world covered in lava, LHS 3844b affords a unique opportunity to analyze the solid rock on an exoplanet surface. Like 55 Cancri E, LHS 3844b orbits extremely close to its star, completing one revolution in 11 hours. However, because its star is relatively small and cool, the planet is not hot enough for the surface to be molten. Additionally, the observations from Spitzer Telescope show that the planet probably does not even have a substantial atmosphere. The Webb Telescope will not be able to image the surface of LHS 3844b directly, but the lack of an atmosphere makes it possible to study the surface with spectroscopy. Spectroscopy basically studies light radiated by matter by splitting light into its constituent wavelengths, much like prisms split white light into its seven constituents. 
Every element absorbs lights of certain wavelength while radiating others. As a result, every element has a unique light signature. Studying that signature can reveal the elements on a distant planet without actually reaching it. Scientists will use the mid-infrared instrument on James Webb to capture the light signatures from the day side of LHS 3844b and then compare it to the spectra of known rocks like basalt and granite to determine its composition. If the planet is volcanically active, the spectrum could also reveal the presence of trace amounts of volcanic gases. The importance of these observations goes far beyond just two of the more than 5,000 confirmed exoplanets in the galaxy. The findings will give new perspectives on Earth-like planets in general and may help us learn what the early Earth might have been like when it was hot like these planets are today. This is Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.